every journey begins with a single step, or in our case, the thrilling chug of a locomotive. The allure of the rails has long captivated the human imagination, with trains symbolizing the very essence of adventure and mystery. From their inception in the early 19th century, these iron horses have been protagonists in tales of intrigue, their tracks leading us into the unknown. Trains have always had an inherent connection to mystery. Their rhythmic clatter, the fleeting landscapes, the unknown fellow passengers, all contribute to a sense of intrigue. The anticipation of what lies at the end of the journey, the thrill of new destinations, and the allure of the unknown, all make every journey an unfolding story. Trains, therefore, are not just a means of transportation, they are a journey into the unexplored, a path to untold tales, and a gateway to a world of enigma. So buckle up as we embark on a thrilling journey across time, unearthing the most enigmatic train mysteries. Our journey begins in the early 20th century with the spectral tale of the Silver Pillen, the ghost train of Stockholm. In the heart of Sweden's bustling capital, a phantom lurks in the darkness of the city's underground. The Silver Pillen, or the Silver Arrow, is a ghostly train that supposedly haunts the Stockholm metro. This spectral apparition is said to appear late at night, barreling down the tracks with its chilling white carriages devoid of any advertisements or graffiti, unlike its colorful everyday counterparts. The legend of the Silver Pillen is steeped in the eerie folklore of Stockholm. Some say omen of misfortune, while others maintain that it, carry maintain that it carries the souls of the lost, forever trapped in a spectral commute. The tales are chilling, with alleged sightings of ghostly passengers standing in the empty, dimly lit carriages, their pale faces pressed against the cold glass. But what could be the origin of this spectral locomotive? The Silver Pillin was indeed a real train, a prototype built in the 1960s that was left unpainted due to budget constraints, lending it its ghostly silver hue. Its infrequent use and stark difference from the usual green trains of Stockholm's metro system made it a perfect candidate for the birth of an urban legend. Skeptics argue that the Silver Pillin sightings could simply be the result of late-night hallucinations or the power of suggestion. Others propose that the stories are remnants of Cold War anxieties, with the ghost train serving as a metaphor for the unknown and the fears associated with that era. Despite the rational explanations, the legend of the Silver Pillin persists. The stories continue to circulate, passed down from generation to generation, keeping the ghost train alive in the collective memory of Stockholm's inhabitants. Whether fact or fiction, the ghost train of Stockholm continues to haunt the city's metro lines, leaving us with nothing but chills and a thrilling mystery. Next, we travel to the mid-20th century, where a train in Lincolnshire, England mysteriously vanished into thin air. Imagine a bustling railway station in the heart of Lincolnshire, circa 1923. The air is filled with the hiss of steam and the clatter of iron wheels against the track. Then, from the midst of the everyday commotion, a train departs, carrying a multitude of passengers. It's just an ordinary day, until the train, along with its passengers, disappears without a trace. This is the baffling case of the Lincolnshire train, an enigma that has puzzled investigators and enthusiasts alike for nearly a century. The train was never seen again, no wreckage was found, no passengers or crew reported missing, as if the train and its inhabitants were simply plucked out of existence. Theories abound as to the fate of the missing train. Some suggest it was a case of mass hallucination, a collective misremembering. But how could so many people misremember a train leaving a station, a spectacle that is so ordinary and mundane? Others propose more fantastical explanations. One such theory involves the concept of time travel. Could the train have slipped through a tear in the fabric of time, transported to a different era? Another theory ventures into the realm of the supernatural, suggesting a dimensional shift. Perhaps the train crossed over into another dimension, a parallel universe where it continues its journey, oblivious to the stir it has caused in our world. Such theories, though intriguing, offer little in terms of concrete evidence. The train's disappearance remains one of the most perplexing mysteries of the 20th century. We are left with an eerie silence where once there was the chug of a steam engine, the clatter of tracks, the bustle of a station, the Lincolnshire train, a phantom on the rails, a story that continues to inspire curiosity and speculation among those who dare to delve into the mysteries of the unknown. A train that disappeared into thin air, leaving behind a mystery that even today remains unsolved. Now we journey to the swinging 60s, where a group of thieves executed one of the most audacious heists in history, 
The Great Train Robbery In the quiet early hours of August 8, 1963, a gang of 15 criminals, armed with nothing more than sheer audacity and a plan, intercepted a Royal Mail train traveling through Buckinghamshire, England. The train, affectionately known as the Night Mail, was carrying a fortune. The thieves, led by a man named Bruce Reynolds, made off with an estimated 2.6 million pounds, an enormous sum for the time. Rumors swirled about how the gang managed to stop the train. Some say they tampered with the railway signal, turning it red with a set of batteries and a glove, forcing the train to halt. Others whisper about an insider, someone who knew the train's route and the riches it carried. In the aftermath of the audacious robbery, the investigation was swift and relentless. The authorities managed to track down and arrest most of the gang members. However, the stolen money was never fully recovered, and the exact details of the heist remain somewhat of a mystery. Despite the arrests, questions lingered. How did the gang know about the money on the train? Was there indeed an insider? How were they able to execute such a daring heist without any violence? And most intriguingly, where did the unrecovered money go? Over the years, theories have abounded, from tales of hidden stashes in remote countryside hideouts to stories of the money being funneled into secret Swiss bank accounts. Yet, the truth remains elusive. The Great Train Robbery, an audacious heist that shook the world and etched itself into the annals of train mysteries. It's a timeless tale of audacity and intrigue, a mystery that continues to captivate and confound us, even today. The allure of the rails, it seems, extends beyond the romance of travel. It also harbors tales of daring heists, unsolved mysteries, and lingering questions that keep us all perpetually on the edge of our seats. Lastly, we journey to the present day, where in India, entire trains have been reported missing from railway records. Imagine, trains, hundreds of meters long, disappearing without a trace, leaving only a void in the ledger. This isn't a tale from a century ago, but a modern-day mystery that has left authorities scratching their heads. India, home to one of the largest railway networks in the world, boasting over 64,000 kilometers of track, has always had a deep-rooted connection with trains. They are the lifeblood of the nation, connecting distant corners and bringing people together. But recently, a peculiar anomaly has caught the attention of many. Trains that were once listed in the official records have simply vanished. The puzzling aspect is that these aren't just any trains. They're passenger trains, carrying hundreds of people across vast distances. It's as if they've been swallowed up by the earth itself. Some suggest administrative errors, while others whisper of corruption. But the truth remains as elusive as the trains themselves. Could it be a simple case of misplaced paperwork, where trains are lost in the labyrinth of bureaucracy? Or could it be something more nefarious? The possibility of corruption cannot be ignored. In a system as vast as India's railways, it's conceivable that some could exploit it for personal gain. Yet, others propose more outlandish theories. Some suggest these trains have become ghost trains, forever lost in the ether of the Indian rail network. Others talk of wormholes and interdimensional travel, fueling the fires of urban legends and folklore. As we delve deeper into this mystery, we find ourselves amidst a whirlpool of questions with few answers. It's a conundrum that continues to baffle investigators and railway enthusiasts alike. Theories abound, but concrete evidence is scarce. The missing trains of India have become a modern enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved. From ghost trains to missing trains, our journey through the mysteries of the rail has been nothing short of electrifying. As our journey reaches its end, we are left with more questions than answers. The mysteries of the train, these tales of the unexplained and the unknown, are a testament to the enduring allure of the rails. They are a reminder of the extraordinary and the inexplicable that often lies hidden in the ordinary. Remember the ghost train of Stockholm, the Silver Pillin, haunting the tracks with its spectral presence. The disappearing train of Lincolnshire, a mystery that has puzzled countless minds. The audacious great train robbery, a heist that shook a nation. And the intriguing enigma of the missing trains in India, a riddle that continues to baffle us. These tales, rich with mystery and suspense, keep us coming back for more. They stoke our curiosity, inviting us to delve deeper and question more. From the spectral silver pillin to the vanishing trains of India, every mystery unraveled only fuels our fascination with the allure of the rails. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries that surround us.